Now let's take question number 83. In the given matrix, first row and the first column consist of symbols and numbers respectively. The combination of those would be the code for specific alphabet given in other cells. For example, the code for G could be 1 dollar or 2 at the rate. In the same manner, what from the given alternatives will be the correct code for word piece. So, we have to find the code for word piece using the given pattern. So, here we can see that G is coded as 1 dollar and 2 at the rate. So, what is the coding pattern? Here we can see that. So, G ke liye humne row ka number or column ka symbol use kiya. That means 1 and dollar. So, G yahan bhi lai kar rahe. So, humne again row ka number and column ka symbol use kiya hai to add the rate. So, this is the pattern of coding. So, we can code this word piece in this manner and we will get the second option is the correct answer for this question here. So, answer for this question is option number 2. I hope it is clear. Now, let us move forward to question number 84. Now, let us discuss question number 84. A square sheet is folded into half. The line of folding being parallel to a side of the square. It is again folded into half, the line of folding being parallel to the shorter side. In this condition, the front of the paper always appears as it is given in the figure below. The dotted line represent the folded portion. So, here we can see that the folding pattern here. When we unfold after applying the given changes, we will get the figure in option number 3 is the correct figure which obtained when we unfold the given paper after applying the given changes. So, here the third option is the correct answer. That means the answer for this question is option number 3. Now, let us move forward to question number 85. Let us take question number 85. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, 8 alphabets each to be assigned a different number from 1 to 8 what should be the value of B, D, E, F and G so that no consecutive number are in adjacent or you can say even diagonally squares. So, here we can see that we have the 8 different boxes from A to H and we have to assign the number from 1 to 8 on the given letters. So, here we can see that the given letter A get 5, C get 2 and H get 4. That means we can arrange the letter B, D, E, F, G and they get numbers like 3, 8, 1, 7 and 6. That means option number 4 is the correct answer for this question. Now, the answer for this question is option number 4. I hope it is clear to everyone. Now, let us move forward to question number 86. 